Ever pondered how a goldfish swimming in your aquarium manages its blood circulation? Or how a shark, darting through the ocean's depths, keeps its body oxygenated? Today we dive into the fascinating world of ichthyology, the study of fish, and more specifically their circulatory system. Fish, like all vertebrates, possess a circulatory system, a highway for delivering oxygen and nutrients to every cell in their bodies. Yet their system differs significantly from ours. While we humans boast a double circulatory system, fish operate with a simple, single circulatory system. The heart of a fish, a two-chambered organ, serves as the pump for this system. The first chamber, the atrium, collects the blood returning from the body. The second chamber, the ventricle, then pumps this blood to the gills. It's in these gills where the magic truly happens. As water flows over the gills, a process called respiration occurs. The gills extract oxygen from the water and infuse it into the blood. Simultaneously, the gills expel carbon dioxide, a waste product, from the blood into the water. This gas exchange is crucial for the survival of the fish. Once oxygenated, the blood embarks on a journey through the fish's body. It travels via arteries to nourish and oxygenate the tissues and cells. After delivering its precious cargo, the now deoxygenated blood returns to the heart through the veins, ready to start the cycle anew. But what makes this system so remarkable is its efficiency. Despite being a single circulatory system, it works perfectly for fish. Their lower metabolic rates and slower pace of life compared to mammals means that their system doesn't need to work as hard to supply oxygen. To sum up, the fish circulatory system is a marvel of biological engineering. It starts with a two-chambered heart that pumps deoxygenated blood to the gills. The gills, in turn, extract oxygen from the water and expel carbon dioxide. Oxygenated blood then travels through the body, delivering life-sustaining oxygen and nutrients to the cells. After completing its mission, the blood returns to the heart, ready to repeat the cycle. This simple yet efficient system perfectly suits the needs of fish from the smallest guppy to the largest shark. It's a testament to the wonders of evolution and how nature tailors systems to the needs of each unique species. Understanding this helps us appreciate the intricate complexity of life in our oceans, rivers and even our home aquariums. So next time you see a fish swimming, remember the incredible journey its blood is taking to keep it alive. Now that's something to ponder.